Well, as I sit here and I look back, if you will, on my experience with Call of Duty World War II, I just wanted to uh, thank Sludgehammer for a few things here. And uh, before this whole video starts off, I'm going to thank them for adding horrible score streaks. Uh, so thank you, Sl Sledgehammer, for making me not have anything to look forward to when I play the game. You know, that's awesome. Score streaks are absolutely f just underwhelming in this game. It's a little, unf it's a little unfortunate here. But uh, yeah, let's t let's start this uh, video here. Um. Thank you so much, Sludgehammer, for allowing me to play a ranked game and get a win but receive a loss. I really appreciate it, okay? And uh, as you can probably tell here, we're we're actually going to be going through some of the screenshots that I have saved on my PlayStation here. So once again, thank you so much for allowing me to win but lose at the same time. I really appreciate it. Secondly, thank you so much for allowing this to happen in your game. This is an actual screenshot unsure how this is possible but you know what don't worry about it okay thank you so much for that uh, I'm not really sure what screenshots gonna come up next but I'm just gonna commentate oh this is an actual in-game photograph that I have captured here um, this is what I actually saw on my screen as you can probably see well actually you probably can't see um, there's a ginormous sun in my eye I don't understand like is there any need I get it's probably reflecting off the water what can you do? I don't know. Oh, also, thank you, Sludgehammer, for allowing me to prestige in front of no one because the headquarters didn't work for a month. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to get all those prestiges and have no one know. Um, yeah, thank you, Sludgehammer, for putting me in games with wager superstars all the time in a public match because I really want to drip my ass off every single game. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sledgehammer. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on here next. Oh, thank you, Sledgehammer, for um, putting in skill-based matchmaking. Even though you you told us that it wasn't in there, you lied. But I, what? Th Once again, as you can see here, thank you so much for putting in skill-based matchmaking, telling us that it's not in the game, but just hiding the fact that it's in the game absolutely fantastic I love it thank you so much let's see what we have up next here can't wait to s I don't even know all I know is that I have been having probably an the worst time of my life on this Call of Duty game oh thank you so much Sledgehammer for letting me get 22 kills in a TDM game and get 3600 XP thank you thank you so much I really appreciated that. It's really going to help me level up really fast. Hmm. I don't know what's next here, but um, I, I just think overall I had to create this. Oh, thank you again for allowing me to play with kids who just seem to be playing the game with their toes. I feel like their toes are actually on the joysticks. It's pretty unfortunate, but um, I think we're reaching the last picture here. I'm, I'm, I'm unsure, but uh, I just want to overall... I just want to say thank you, Sludgehammer. I really do. You you really put out a shit game. And uh, I really appreciate it because you had three years to just freaking work on us like this. That's um, That takes some uh, nuts right there. I'll, I'll be honest. That takes some nuts. All right. But uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, I'm probably not going to be playing a lot of Call of Duty for a while because last night I was trying to increase my leaderboard ranking and I was actually playing games that weren't counting toward the leaderboard. So that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Sledgehammer, for that. Thank you for releasing a game that doesn't even work. Three quarters of the game doesn't even work. And you're just going to shit on us like that? And you're like, yeah, let's add microtransactions so people would... C come on. The... This Call of Duty is so boring. You add nine maps when the game launches. I'm not even going to count Karen. Actually, eight. Because I can't count Gustav Cannon or Karen Tan as an actual legitimate map 
because Karen Tan is awful. The, like, it was awesome in, like, Call of Duty 2 back in, like, 1852, but, like, it's not Call of Duty 2 anymore. People play the game differently, okay? Awful map. So there's pretty much eight maps that you gave us at launch. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you for not adding all the guns you should have added when the game came out for free. And thank you for allowing us to purchase supply drops to get them. I, I appreciate it so much. So I guess I'm going to leave you guys on this one. Sledgehammer, thank you for, how should I say this, for supporting the downfall of Call of Duty. I really appreciate it. I can't wait until this game dies out. Not really. I kind of want to see it make a comeback, but if the trend keeps happening like this, that's just not going to happen. Um, I've just kind of been ranting on for a while at this point, but uh, yeah. It's been you, Griffin, Urgifon, Urgifon, Urgifon. I like honestly. I don't really care how you say it. You're supposed to say you Griffin, but you know what? Some people just don't. So don't worry about it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. See ya.